a lot of list poems. So this is called Ten Uses, Ten Uses for Music. One, to ward off hungry pigeons. Two, to thaw digits by fake fire. Three, to invent allowances for deep dish pizza consumption. Four, to press silver dollars into the blooming hands of street performers dressed in gold. Five, to place rubies on the air cautiously like Christmas lights, but more tragic. Six, to cast his fisherman's line through the cold front, questing for wilderness despite rush hour traffic. Seven, because he wanders and wonders beneath the Altrax, confusing sparks for sun rays. Eight, since his voice illuminates the night like lightning bugs confusing their own bodies with the stars. Nine, perhaps his positive vibes can change the world one hungry pigeon at a time. Ten, because he knows no other way to ward off the bears who haunt him. So he holds your hand. This one is actually called a beginning and then in parentheses an ending. That summer he was working on his opus and he locked himself away in the nocturne. I heard murmurs and echoes of vibrato percolating through the floorboards. He looked a bit like a deer in the rain a nervous listener, long-necked, an orchestra of antlers, tuning in the forest. The trees hummed in the key of C, and he recited his requiem with tombstones in his eyes. De capo, he said, meant it wasn't over. The birds played strange violins, a string quartet to lull the morning. I waltzed down the scale towards the Cheshire cat and begged him to serenade me to sleep. And then again, in the spirit of music, I thought I'd read um, something that's a work in progress. It's a book that's coming out next year. It's actually a nonfiction project about my grandfather. Um, and he was one of the scientists who worked on the atomic bomb in Los Alamos. And since he passed away, I've been doing a lot of research, contacting his old friends, my uncle sitting in the audience here, he's done a lot of interviews and helped me out on a lot of this, um, trying to kind of uncover his secrets. But one thing that came up a lot in Los Alamos um, was that there was this lack of radio signal for these scientists who were in the desert, and they spent a lot of time, they were listening to cowboy music on the, you know, the frequencies they could get, but there was this miss, this longing for classical music and for opera. And actually, a couple of the SEDs got together and had what they called the Mushroom Society. They called it that because mushrooms only grow at night, supposedly. So they would sneak off and um, play classical music and opera in the middle of the night, in the middle of the desert. And I always thought that was really fascinating. Um, and so my grandfather was in love with music. And actually, when he passed away, we engraved Schubert's Unfinished Symphony on his gravestone. Um, and one of the things he used to say was that although it's incomplete, it's more complete than most others. So um, this is a, a little excerpt from the book, um, kind of piecing together the bits and pieces of his world. It was only after his death that we discovered a whirlwind of unsolved equations strewed across his study, the debris of a hurricane. The word midnight was scrawled across a notepad, intersected by algorithms and annotations. Sentences were scattered and unfinished, some phrases were missing nouns, as though censors had cut holes in them. These were my grandfather's unsolved equations. They were the sentence fragments of his memory. They were words lost at sea, like the spotty, disappearing clauses of my grandmother's voice still whispering through the house. Midnight. Parallel worlds, his parabola with her was the Lombard street of his destiny, from which she subtracted years. 3,200 equals 542 times t to the fourth. Mother plus memory over time. And the deaths of old friends, mere detractions from a wavelength stretching into his future where he couldn't envision a life without her parameter by his side. Enola equals alone. 5.90 equals t to the fourth. Quotients flooded her mem memories. She sank to the bottom of the ocean and her voice was muted by water. R equals 0 0.93 times 
e divided by d to the second times t to the fourth. Quadratic fish shimmered in her eyes, and she spoke of strange quadrants she had never seen before. Gravitational force, 6.67e minus 11, m3, s minus 2, kg minus 1. 146,000 deaths rang in her ears. 6 million Jews, 80,000 more. Sums of an algorithm hung over her head, an algorithm he was desperate to solve. An unfinished symphony.